Welcome to the video where we look at selection. Once again, if you've not already downloaded Visual Studio Code or some other ID, for example, PyCharm, make sure you watch the intro video and set it up specifically for pseudocode. I am expecting you to use some kind of IDE for these exercises. The exam board described the process of selecting a specific logical path as both selection and branching. Okay, so you need to be aware of both keywords. It defines branching as deciding which code to run and goes on to say that this code is only run once. We've got two particular methods that we can look at. We've got an if else and a switch case. Let's take a look at them. The if else is very similar to Python. We have to make sure that we've matched the data types. Have you used casting? Are the data types of, for example, entry and the A string that you're wanting to select correct? And the next thing that's different is we've got the keyword then. That would replace the colon that you'd expect to see in Python. The next subtle change is the elif. That's become an else if. The other thing that you've got to remember to do is to end the if, which we don't typically have to do in Python. Now, I do have a little bit of a disclaimer. Technically speaking, the bottom example is what the exam board give us with the else if and the end if, both as one single word. I've separated them on the first example simply because that allows Visual Studio Code to spot them as key terms and then highlights them in purple. In my case anyway, your colour scheme may be different. The switch case is more of a C or Java style construct. We have the key term switch to start the variable check. The name of the variable comes next. So in our case, we've got switch entry. We then use the case key term to say, check for this particular value. So in our case, we've got a capital A or a capital B. We use the key term default to catch all the other values of entry, much in the same way that an else works. Again, you have to remember to end the switch, and then I've got another mini disclaimer. Technically speaking, the syntax is to have end switch as one word, but again, I'll leave that choice with you. You can either now start part A for this week's exercises, or feel free to go and watch the next video.